Hi, welcome back. This is Greg with Good Old RVing. Today we have the pleasure with having a telephone interview with Ben at On The Go Water Softeners. Uh, we're going to be discussing the best location in order to protect the container itself from too hot or too cold weather, uh, resin replacement, um, doing the regen, the back flush, and after you're done with the regen, the best uh, where you're supposed to uh, recheck it for hardness. So let's get started. Here we go. On the go portable water softener. Hi, right, how are you doing today? Good, you? Yeah. Well, I'm all right. My name's Greg, and um, I have one of your water softeners, and I had a few questions for you. Okay, okay. Um, first of all, I was reading on the side of the on the um, water softener that it has to meet certain criteria as far as temperature goes. How critical is that? I mean, if the water is too hot, it can melt the parts of the softener. Okay, and what if it's too cold? It's just a matter of freezing, or yeah, it, it'll freeze and typically it will expand and. Usually you see the distribution tube get uh, cracked, and then that will c cause resin to leave the uh, tank. Okay, and so it's something that should be paid attention to. Yeah. Okay, good to go. Um, another thing is, I was trying to find it somewhere, but I can't find anywhere where it says when you should actually change the resin. Uh, the resin's good for 7 to 10 years. Okay, and so there, there's no real test for it. You just, after 7 to 10 years, you replace it? No, uh, eventually the resin will lose its ability to regenerate. Okay, and so you regenerate it, and if it doesn't last for X amount of time, a few days or a few weeks? Uh, I mean, if, if you don't do the regen correctly or you don't do it at the correct time, the resin will not work. But if you've been doing the regen correctly, you know, for five plus years and then eventually stops working the resin the resin is at the end of its shelf life okay okay that's good to know and and we could just get the resin through you and me being a full-time RVer I would be able to do this myself replace the resin yeah it takes about five to ten uh, minutes okay that's good to know can you just throw it away yep okay um as far as the regen goes, when you do the back flush, how important is that? Uh, you want to do that uh, every three months. Um, you want to do the back flush every three months. That flushes up the resin bed, eliminating any water channels that may have formed. So you get the greatest capacity out of your uh, resin. Okay. And so, I took my on-the-go water softener, I have the double, the double big one, and I mounted it, I permanently mounted it inside my RV because I was concerned with the temperatures, because I live at the bottom of a mountain range, and like the other night it got 35 degrees, and so that could tell you it's a little something, and in the summer it gets in the hundreds, and so... um that little passageway you're talking about that goes through the resin to f because I'm not traveling I'm sitting still what's a good way to to uh, get rid of that passageway is it just flushing it and that'll do it or should I like bounce it up and down or roll it or no you just that's what the back flush process does oh the back flush process takes care of that yeah okay that's all good to know information because I'm getting ready to regen mine actually today anyway. Okay. And so I wanted to, you know, get all this fresh in my mind. Um, yeah, was there anything else you could help me or any viewers with on this? Uh, no, just uh, always after the regeneration process, make sure you check the hardness at the output of the softener, not inside the RV. Okay, so like at the hose where you've been draining it from? Yes, correct. Okay, that's perfect. That's what I did. That's what I do. And so that works out good. good. Um, okay, 
That sounds great. I really appreciate your help. Okay. Okay, you have a great day and enjoy your weekend. All right. You too. Okay, bye now. Okay, so that concludes the interview with Ben at On The Go Water Softeners. And if there's any questions, please leave a comment. Uh, be glad to get back with you. On The Go Water Softeners has a really good website, a lot of good information. Um, hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you got what you needed out of it. And have a great day. Stay tuned for the next one. Don't forget, like and subscribe. I think we passed. Okay. Turn the water back on.